everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Yes! Uh, I'm the captain. And I am Danish... Uh, Pink Pete. <laughs> Danish, Danish Brian. Um, <laughs> now, ever since This E Here Guitar was announced at the beginning of uh, 2020... What year are we in? 2022? 2022. Um, we have been inundated with questions around... So what do I get then? Do I get one of these or yeah. something else? What do you get for the money? Yes. You know, that's been so many comments have gone, How, this is about, what is it, about 850? 899, something yeah. like that. What can I get for that money? And why haven't you got this? And why didn't you compare it to that? And why didn't you do this? Now, Dragon you, me, if this you're is... a fan of this channel, and if you're not, why not? Um, but please like and subscribe, <laughs> hit that notification bell, because <laughs> yeah. you'll have seen uh, two or three videos that will have gone up during sort of January, February time. Uh, about, sh you know, comparing traditional sort of classic, I suppose, yeah. radius fretboard mm -hmm. guitars yeah. versus flat radius guitars, looking at S-types and T-types, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. This video is um, for those of you that maybe aren't sure, do you want flat radius, contemporary, curved, vintage, whatever. This is really yeah. just a price-driven thing. Yes, now. exactly. So all exactly. these guitars are a similar price. Yeah. We have two guitars from Fender's Vintera series. Yeah. Okay, Vintera um, traditional, yeah. just normal Vintera, mm -hmm. 60s Stratocaster. Yeah. And Vintera modified. Yeah. Which is like a sort of a slightly modern take on a vintage yeah, guitar. Yeah, you would say it's modified. Yes, so we'll Modern. we'll talk about spec <laughs> in a minute. We've got the Schecter Nick Johnson with the three single coils. Johnston. Johnston. Why do I keep calling him Johnston? I, I do the same. I'm sorry. Uh, Nick. Sorry, sorry, Nick. I would say at the moment, probably the most popular alternative to a Fender Strat because yeah. it's quite a contemporary sort of take on it. Super cool guitar. And then we've got the Player Plus Strat that came out last year. Yeah, back it? end of 2021. Yeah, yeah. and again. Bit more sort of contem contemporary, and of course we've got. And then we've got yes, the uh, Dragon Fruit oh, Silver Sky. It's quite light. Silver this one. Sky SE. Yeah. Um, SE. So yes. I guess what we'll start doing is we'll do a quick run through of tones, okay, like we've done in these other videos. Mm -hmm. We'll quickly talk about specs, and then after that, I'll, I want to blindfold Pete. That's why he's got his purple. Um, Fifty Shades of Purple mask, um, and <laughs> just going to hand Pete guitars that will hopefully be in tune, and <laughs> get him to. No, I don't think I'm really hoping that people guess which is which because no. you know to a certain degree some are satin, some are gloss. That you, you know, and if we even start having to tune guitars, yeah, it'll be pretty no. obvious what's what. But hopefully, without the ability to see his, you know, his touch and his hearing will be extra sensitive mm. and he'll be able to kind of go mm, that's interesting i like this or that or whatever the other yeah right so well, that's should we why just... a blindfold at home as well you know because the touch <laughs> and the feel and everything is more sensitive i see yep. was it christian gray is that who you wish you were sometimes i don't maybe know maybe i am maybe you are In... yep. right i'm going to start by strumming each of these guitars in the in their sort of different pickup positions through a completely clean valve amplifier, no pedal, it's just a little bit of reverb. Yeah. And Pete uh, today will be a spec man. Spec man. Uh, <laughs> and tell us what they are. So the I first... see the specs are nice, were my... That's a great show. Where are you spec? Okay. I've got lenses um, in today. So the first one we're starting with is the regular 60s Stratocaster from the Vintera series. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps I'll give a strum and then Pete can tell you what the specs are. Yeah. So. But it needs more reverb, I think. I think it needs <laughs> Shall more I turn reverb. the reverb maybe down a for everybody? A little bit, maybe a little bit. Oh my goodness, it's yes. Yeah, it was a part a bit excessive. Bit. Um, so the specs on this is an older body, a polyester youth gloss finish on it. Um, the neck is a maple neck, four bolt construction. 
um, power ferro board and you've got three 60 style single coil pickups in there with a with the terminal system you've got the six screws on it and the six um the vintage uh, wasn't there something to do with the pickups that they're that form var proper 60s wiring thing or six saddles from our up? system vintage style tuning machines all very vintage uh gates nine strings including a gig bag and you saying about the pickups on this one i thought i, thought I remember well look, i mean whilst you're looking that up vintage they're, they're just they're just uh 60s style strat it says, with okay. an older body by the way you said that at the beginning. Did I? Didn't you say did. that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the the neck is a seven Your and thing. a quarter inch yep. radius. Yeah. It's C shaped. Classed as a C shaped back of the neck. I would say this is at the f sort of fatter end of a slim C. If mm -hmm. I'm, you know. Um, fatter end of a slim C. That's a way. That's a yeah. So but it's, it doesn't feel fat, but it's it's not. Thin. Yeah. Uh, this has been set up with a floating trem system. Many people with this style trem system will just, you know, push it flush to the body. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah. Um, and it sounds to me like everything that a 60s Strat sounds of. Uh, yeah. You know, where the back pickup maybe feels a little bit weedy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that is what they sound like. I mean, like. it says so, on their website here that we we revoice the pickups to be more 60s accurate. 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 Accurate? Accurate. Accurate. That's fine. Can't say that word. Uh, for full uh, bell-like, crystalline yep. tone. Skinny frets by the looks of things here, and a you know, and a, and a sort of an action that I think is appropriate for this style of guitar. So yeah. you know, not crazy low, like no. you know, just a sort of a normal yeah. action. It says like. vintage frets on it, so yeah, they are yeah. probably six. Um, okay. In no particular order. Do you want to do the Fender ones? Yeah, let's do the Fender ones Because we're on first. the Fender website. Yeah, so you... So do Ventura one. modded. Yes, yeah. do that, do that, do okay. that. Okay. So let me find the Ventura modded. I'll mod, just... Mod. I'll do the strumming while you find the... Um, yeah. Mod, mod. Now we've got extra settings on this, so this this might have a few extra ones. So this is with the, the sort of the switch on the volume control not pressed, so mm -hmm. normal. Same kind of specs, an older body on this one. Um, you've got three hot 60s Strat single coil pickups. So they're like the, the 60s, but voiced slightly mm -hmm. hotter. And the S1 switch, when you're in position one and two, brings the neck pickup in. Right. Um, I saw you were fiddling back and up. It's got a modern C-shaped neck with a satin back and a nine and a half inch uh, laurel board on it. And it's got uh, 21 medium jumbo frets on it. Yeah. So it's a bit more contemporary in that with the two-point trim system as well. Yep. Um, you know, so... Definitely a bit feels... More uh, with the kickback. Feels a little bit slicker to play. I prefer the slightly bigger frets. The two-point trim system feels a little bit more floaty. Mm -hmm. um, Float my goatee. Mm, I'm not sure I'm really feeling the difference in the radius other than, and this I think is potentially important, and. It does feel like the action's a little lower on this, which maybe it, maybe it isn't, and maybe it's just the radius that makes it feel like that, or maybe it is a little lower. But that um, is kind of, you know, that's also a setup thing. Yeah, I like, I like uh, the frets on that. So do you want to give me player yes, plus now? There's the player plus. So these are all money-wise. As I said, we've, we've chosen these guitars specifically because they're in a similar price yeah, bracket. Around nine hundred pounds. Uh, we didn't we didn't choose these guitars because we're inferring necessarily that they're all similar specs or anything they so say. No. Know. Uh, okay, five settings here.
Yeah. Oh, sorry. You were you were not going to push pull it. It's got a push pull on the on the on the. <laughs> Apologies. No, that's uh, what, what does that know, do? It, I mean, it it, uh, it's, it activates the neck pickup uh, in, in position. Same so the same as the. Right, okay. Right, so again, you've got the older body, you've got the maple neck with the uh, Palfero board on it, you've got locking tuners in this one, you've got a 12 inch radius f uh, fingerboard, so it's f much flatter again. Uh, you've got a two point tremolo with a steel, with a block steel saddles, so they're the ones from, you know, from the stand back in, in the day. Uh, and this got noiseless player plus pickups on it with a push put pull control that adds the neck pickup um, and a modern C neck, which is. Um, is that lacquered or? No, no, satin. Yeah, satin finished on that one, yeah. So, it's, yeah. it's my initial thoughts on mm. this. Bizarrely. It's jumbo frets as well, is medium it, jumbos. It's much more apparent going from the Vintera with the, the seven and a quarter inch radius and the lacquered neck and the mini frets. It's much more apparent going from that one to that one than yeah. it was going from this one to this one, where the only real difference is a slightly flatter fretboard, which I, I would say I didn't even notice. Uh, so it's the I've same got, flat. It's the same difference in the flat from seven and a quarter to nine, to and, nine and, half, and a half to, to nine and a half to twelve. It's kind of the same. But I I would say that um, I think the noiseless pickups sound slightly less. They sound a bit more muffled. And, yeah, they? they don't. They don't sound as sort of. You uh, got Nick Johnston. As chimey and bright as the traditional style, uh, Nicholas Johnston. Yeah. When was the last time Nicholas was called Nicholas? Probably his mother calls him that. Nicholas. Here we go. Speckaroos. A bit hotter that one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, you've got a roasted maple neck with an ebony fingerboard on there. Schecter locking tuners. Uh, 22 X jumbo frets and a 14 inch um, radius on the board with a Graftec knot. And you've got a two point trim on it. And uh, let me see here. What have we got here? Older body. Did I say that? And you've got this Sector Nick Johnston uh, diamond pickups in it, Fireway Selector, and it's strong with 10s. Funny you should say that last all point. all the fenders yeah. are strong with 9s, and I keep saying that to yeah. Brenda, but I get that people... I much prefer the string tension with the 10s. Yeah. But that's a preference, I suppose, rather than subjective. I still can't get over how little difference I'm feeling from 12 to from 14. From 12 to 14. Uh, the yeah. trem system feels, I think this is probably just the 10 gauge strings, right? Everything feels like it's locked in a bit more tightly on this guitar. Yeah. Um, that's, and a the, good way of te that's a good way of saying it. I yeah. like that way of, of uh, explaining uh, the, how it goes. The pickups are clearly, I think it was probably that one and, and the modified, these have got the, the player these plus. have got the fat, no, these yeah, have got, got the hotter, the hotter pickups, yeah. which again, I prefer. They're brighter so than these, um, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So here we I go. Mean, my, my least favorite sounding one so far is Player Plus. Um, I agree. But hey. Okay. This is tens as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
Okay, uh, so the construct specs on that one, it's a poplar body, which has caused a lot of uh, people to say, oh, it's a poplar body, I can't believe you're using that on that guitar, oh, it should have been older, but hey, there we are. Um, maple neck, um, you got the, uh, the JM neck shape on there, rosewood board this time, so that's better, I'd say, that's just my opinion. And um, it's got the JM, what is it called again, six... 635 six, three, S, yeah, S pickups yeah. um, and the two point tram system. Yeah. Um, again, I'm put, I, I, it's really odd, isn't it? I, I, I almost feel like the 10 gauge string thing is, is throwing me towards liking the Nick Johnson and the SE more than, you know. Yeah, but, it's a setup thing, isn't it? Because you it yeah. feels, it feels, as you say, more put together. I tell you what is super weird though, man, is we as guitar players make way too much fuss about the radius of the fretboard. 100%. It's, it's, I keep, I've said that it's for one, years, man. I almost feel now it's just one of a hundred different things that you're going to, you know, like or dislike about a guitar. And, and it's, and you, I would defy anyone to go, oh, I only like this radius of fretboard. I think you have to take everything else into account. Yeah. So this is eight and a half, by the way. I didn't yeah. mention that. So it's a, it's a, it's yes. a different, it's in between, you know. Um, and maybe we'll, we'll hear from John if he mm. tells us the story, why it was that. Well, I, no, I think I've heard already. It's, oh, okay. It, it is just because it's, it's, it's um, in between. It's a s slightly more familiar to people that have played a lot of modern yeah. Fender style guitars. Yeah. You know? So that's all it really was. Look, but I think when you, sorry, to, but when, if you take seven and a quarter up to 14, that's quite a difference. I think that's... You wait. I, I, yeah, I, I, know, I know, but you can, you think, I think that's, that's enough for you to go, yeah, that's pro you can probably feel it. If you're looking for it. Yeah, if you're looking for it, but I don't think it, it's, if you get used to it, it's just about getting used to something. And again, as I well, keep saying, let the, play it to the guitar, you know, play, put the guitar up and you go, that guitar feels like this, so that means I'm going to play this kind of thing on it. Yeah, you I know? mean, I, I certainly, my three, my three I really favourites like were one. literally the, the Silver Sky, the Vintera Modified and the Nick Johnson yeah. so far. Yeah. This you can't really criticise as such. It, if you want a 60 Strat, you've got to have it warts and all. It's just, that's it what, what it they is, were yeah. like. Yeah. Uh, and Player Plus... Uh, I think you know noiseless pickups serve a purpose. You know, if you're a you know gigging professional function playing kind of guitar player and you've got a lighting rig and you're playing all over the place or you're recording in, you know, and you just don't want the stress of noisy pickups. Yeah. But then I don't. I don't help. know. Whatever. Look, Pete, blindfold yes. up. Yes. 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 I will hand you guitars I'm just have a, have in a, little... a random order. I've got cheat sheets on the inside of these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll hand them over. I and mean, I can see to a sides. certain degree, if I'm totally honest with you, you, I think the only one, if you need to tune it, the only one that's going to be a total, total giveaway is the Silver Sky because it's obviously three aside. Yeah. Um, but why don't we just start with something? And uh, Oz, you'll have to help me remember what order I've passed these to Mr. Pete in, but hopefully we're sort of there or thereabouts. Uh, I've turned the volume up. Okay. And I think you should do some, maybe uh, maybe my chord strumming wasn't necessarily the best way to feel about radiuses and stuff. Okay. So do a bit of lead guitar solo. Do you want me to turn your tune on? Oh, you found it. I mean, this is this has got a flatter board. I feel. That's not the Dane, is it? Nope. No. I can't believe I could hear that. <laughs> it's a flat of board. You've got some delay on there, somehow there. Yes, hold on. You may have done that inadvertently. There we are. 
Okay. Uh, well, mate, off. Am I off? Don't worry. Leave it on. We'll okay. have the crackle. Okay. Okay. So that was guitar number one. Yeah, I think uh, that was. Oh, maybe this, we won't. Let's see that. Right. So either that was, the I think it was either the Schecter or the player, the, the flattest ball. Is that the player plus? Yeah, I don't really mind. To be honest, I don't think you need to okay. decide I mean, I felt, what they I are. I felt a flat board. I uh, felt a flat board and I didn't use the wiggle stick, but um, yeah, and it felt quite bright. But I wasn't sure if it was a nine or... Oh, have I turned this up? I think. And I'll take you... Where's the... No, is. no. And the other one. You got them both on. See th thinner strings on this. And it's got a lacquered neck on it. No, wrong one. Go. Well, unless you want the booster, you just want to pass it. Terra, but I could be wrong. I, I guess to a certain extent, the Vintero yeah. not. Um, I'm not too worried thing. about which okay. one's what. That I, felt, I almost... it had, had a lacquered neck. It felt um, you know, the strings for me is a bit sort of weedy, um, and and they get when you got weedy. Oh, okay. So we got a um, we've got a satin neck here. Yeah, I think that's the that's the Silver Sky S E. The neck feels like familiar to me on that one. It's got the roll board. But it, it, it's funny because if that's eight and a half, it still feels kind of flat, but even though it's not so weird. Oh, um, oh, okay. See, this is satin, but not satin. And it's nine strings. It gets snappy, doesn't it? I'm not sure. It's like, I tell you what we're going to do is once you've chosen your favourite one of the three fenders, yeah, we'll restring it with tens on. I think for the final, because it, it. Okay. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that you want nines. I mean, it's a, no, if, no, no. If nines it, are your thing. Yeah, then that's, that's absolutely. Fine. I don't. I but agree. I, I okay. think for Pete and I, because we prefer tens, it's a little unfair to choose a favourite where one doesn't have our favourite uh, gauge of string on it. But yeah, exactly. Let's keep, keep going for now. Okay. It's definitely Fender. I 
I was gonna say it felt like a Vintero. Yeah, with the with the floating. Oh, hang on. You got them both on. That's it. They're now just the Dane. That's. <laughs> Excellent job. Um, That's the Vintero uh, mod. Last one coming in. Oosh. And you're on the middle pickup for some reason already. Okay. Oh. Ah. Can you give me one of the other ones again? The neck is quite slimmer on this one here. Terra modified maybe then and the other one was the no oh god that's the that's can't really tell that it doesn't matter it's a fender anyway it's a yeah. fender okay yeah. but it's one either the it's either the uh, Vintero modified or the player plus but I can't tell I think the other one was uh, whatever well you can um, it felt rolled boards that one you unmask and so you you basically you guessed them all correctly. Okay. I mean, obviously you was the, the last two was the modified Vintera versus the Player Plus. So yeah, I, a, and that a little bit. I wasn't sure. It was interesting. Was you like, were trying to see which one had the noiseless pickups, and they they didn't sound that noiseless. Was that the, were, the, the yeah, last one? That's, yeah. That was right because it, it felt yeah. it felt it's got more rolled board. This one has got a, more rolled edges. Right. Okay. Than that one, and and the, the trem for some reason is quite tight on this one. Yeah. Well, this one is slightly more floating and loose, but that well, we'll, they, we'll, they, all of these three felt, and that's because of the string gauge. I mean, honestly, yeah, we'll, it we'll makes that, such a huge difference. Are you are you as surprised as I am that you can go from a seven and a quarter inch radius to a fourteen inch radius and everything in between, yeah. and and it really not affect how you feel about the no, guitar particularly? It, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised because mm. it is. It's just a, um, especially when you get blindfolded. I think we talked about that before. But mm. it, you, you do not. It's a completely different world. It's it, when you, if you get blindfolded, you don't know what you're going to play, and you don't know the specs, you don't know what it is. You approach the guitar with a completely different way, mm. and and uh, this felt quite flat actually. But <laughs> I, you know, it felt quite flat when I'm playing it because it's set up nicely. Yeah. Then it just feels easier to play. So if a seven and a, and a quarter is set up nicely, it'll feel easier to play. If a fourteen uh, inch fretboard is, f is set up badly, mm. it'll feel it, it will feel if difficult to if play. Anything, if that makes sense. If yeah. anything's set up badly, it'll be but that, bad. But right? that's what I mean. You know. So so I think I think I think people should probably. I mean, I hate telling people what to do because it's up to them. You know, we should all do what we want and all be ourselves. And uh, what did I hear today? This is a good one for you kids out there. I'll read this up. This was, um, it's a quote from, uh, from Herbie Hancock this morning saying, Forget trying to compete with someone else. Create your own pathway and create, create your own vision. Who is Herbie Hancock's godson? My godfather is Herbie Flowers, the bass player. Anthony Hancock. There's four body parts it's, in one name. It's Jack Duxbury. Herbie Flowers, 
the bass player. Is it? Jack Duxbury is wow. Herbie Hancock's godson. Herbie Flowers. I did not know that. Herbie Flowers, the bass player. So there you are. Jack, if you're not sure, is the guy who presents our keyboard channel. Herbie Flowers. And Go and subscribe to that. sweetheart he guy. Is. In fact, if you want to see me talking to Jack about life, the universe and everything, where he tells me that Herbie Hancock. Herbie Flowers. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Flowers. Is his I didn't watch the whole thing of that uh, video. I must watch Godfather that. Godfather is, yeah, go watch that there. Anyway, look. Wow. Herbie Flowers. Little intermission anyway, now. Pick yeah. your favourite of the three Fenders. I mean, my, I don't want to influence this in any way. My favourite one was this one. Yeah, of the I three agree. Fenders. That's the same one. Let's restring this with, in, with tens. Yep. Uh, and then final shootout between these three. Okay. I honestly feel like... Herbie Flowers. I, I don't know how helpful these comparison videos are because I kind of get to the end of it just sort of going, they're all fine. You know, it's like yeah. just what one do you like the look of? You know, which one do you want something that, you know, what what realistically you turn up to a gig or you own a guitar with Schecter on the headstock, people will uh, assume that you're maybe a bit more contemporary, a bit will, will more they modern. Will they though? Will they? Will they? If people I in the audience will. will not have a clue. Oh, there, okay. might be, there might be 1% other guitar, or not. Other guitar players. Yes, but you know, the mu music police, they'll stand over there and go, <laughs> oh, he didn't play uh, the, the dominant um, seven on the thing. Yeah, what happens if, if you turn up with the Silver Sky? Oh, people, get... people just think you're just a John Mayer fanboy, or is that...? Yes, but why? Because... It's a good guitar, man. It you is. Know? It's a great guitar. Yeah, don't anyway. have to... Anyway, let's... let's right, restring. restring. See you back in a minute. Thousands of tears later. Right, I have restrung the uh, 60s modified Vintero mm. strap with a set of 10 to 46. Instantly, just tuning it up, I immediately like it more yeah. and I'm immediately feeling less different Scared. between the three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I don't know what we've done here. It is actually forget radius and forget everything, just strings. Anyway, um, I don't really necessarily feel like I want you to blindfold up now, Pete. Okay. I just, just try the three guitars okay. and play the same sort of style of stuff on it. And you guys listen to stuff and just say, this is what I think, you know. Okay, I mean, we start with this. Yeah. Because that's the one that everybody's talking about. Yeah. This is so hilarious. I'm now playing without blindfold on and it sounds darker. What? Isn't that weird? I think what I can objectively say about this guitar is the, the three pickups are very well balanced. Yes. Uh, the trem system feels nice and sturdy and stable. Yeah. And, and it is a nice guitar to play. Yeah. Um, uh, all of the, yeah, what you said. Absolutely. More top, more top end in this guitar. I just feel like that. And I actually, it feels slinkier. It almost feels like there's nines on here, but I don't think there is. The tension is different. And now I feel like there's a flatter board and there's definitely a flatter neck, but I... Wow, Jesus. Man, now I'm having the blindfold, I'm playing it. If it I, I immediately feel like the neck is definitely more flat. It's but it so is. Weird. I mean, it, obviously, it is. it is flat. But I see what you're saying. It's being but reinforced because you it's know. It's just reinforced because I yeah. know what guitar yeah. it is. Yeah. Which, which it goes with your sweat. Yeah, it does. It's two shades of pink. I think that's very, more balanced. Very different sound than the bridge pickup, yeah, isn't it? I think there, that yeah. on position one yeah. and two, which is these two here, that is more balanced. Can I just say as well, visually, Fender, Fender, please. I don't think it feels or sounds any different, but Fender, Fender, please, can you start using Rosewood or yeah, Macassar Ebony or something? Yeah, because it looks it's great, like, doesn't it? 
I just think a Strat looks nice with a real dark board. That's, per I suppose, subjective again. No, I get, I get it, I get it. Right, here we go. So here's a uh, Dane. It's got the high-end sizzle mm -hmm. thing going on. It's definitely a different pickup. But yeah. a bit more pokey and aggressive sounding maybe than the yeah, Silver Sky? I think so. Oop. Oop. I mean, the, the thing that's going to freak you out when you play is it feels like a completely different guitar with tens on it. Okay, here we go. It's very different with the... It's still got that snappy thing that it's just defender just has mm. that whether that's a pickup or even with tens on it, it's got that. But I think that was what what um, John talked about with this guitar. That it's much, it's there's lows in the lows and, high, and highs in the highs. Did he say? But not this kind of, you know. There's a lesser, that high, really super top high end on it. Or maybe there isn't. I feel it's more snappy. That's more, it's got a fendery thing to it that this doesn't have. I don't like, it's my least favorite, that kind of thin string on the bridge pickup of a strap. Yeah, but that's it's, why I'm it's, trying it. It's, you know. it's the kind of thinnest sound. Yeah, but, but that's exactly why I'm doing it. This neck is much slimmer than either of those are. And I think... <sighs> Man, do you want to blindfold up and see I, if you I don't do want to blindfold... I, let's jam I mean, out. You just... You play, right, no, you, I, 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 I want you to play for a bit and then I think we don't need to jam out then this video is going to be way too long. All right. So Sorry, if you want no another jams. jam, you can go in another video. There's hundreds and thousands of videos you can have a listen. Not hundreds of thousands, but thousands. So you set, see what you think. <laughs> Okay, quick. Ah, do the fender, I, do the fender. I really like that guitar. It's, it's like, a great guitar. It's not one I would... I wouldn't look at the specs of that guitar and go, oh yeah, I like that. No, when but you I, play it I and you go, yes, no. I like it. Oh. See? See, there's this snap in it, isn't there? There's, Love, there's this I like this to, I like it to play a yeah. lot. I like that guitar. Yeah, but it's got this snap on it. It's got this Fender snap. Which I, which I, I like, you know. It's dark. It, it, this is the... the... Yes, it's, the, it's the more... Yeah. It's got that... I think when you hear a John Mayer classic clean tone, it doesn't have that real spiky, aggressive 
top end no, that an old exactly. Fender does. But that's what that's that's exactly what I mean. But that's what he says, isn't it? There's there's top end, but it's not that yeah. spiky top mm. end in there. There's nothing in it. I mean, it, there's everything in it according everything to the spec, it. Yeah. and yet well, they're, they're, not really to play. Just, no, you, you it's, know, it's darker this guitar, absolutely. I'm drawn to the Strat just because I, I think it looks nicest, you know. But why does it look nicest? Is that because you're familiar? Yeah, because it's just because it's like you know all my guitar heroes played it, um, including John Mayer. <laughs> including John Mayer, yeah. There's a hump. There's a mid. There's they, mid low mid hump in there. It's so weird. There's more, I think, to separate these guitars in their tone mm -hmm. than there is in their feel. For me, anyway. Well, I, that, that's I, I, half of me feels like this has been really worthwhile to do this video, yeah. but really inconclusive. Yeah, well, like, that's what, like what all our that, videos, isn't it? <laughs> what did it actually? What did it actually demonstrate? Do that again. Um, other than if you've got eight or nine hundred quid to spend on a guitar, actually, the Johnson is uh, Johnston is the cheapest one by oh, a good yeah, one hundred and fifty right. odd quid, that's I think. Right. So yeah. maybe we should give it a you know. Chunkier, chunkier neck than the... Yeah, I like the neck on that. Let me just have some gain, and then I guess we just need to just yeah. move on, don't we? Doesn't so there's no, doesn't. there's no real. That's all rubbish, isn't it? Yeah. Whole. One hundred percent. That's rubbish too. If it's set up nicely, it's all good. Do the seven and a quarter inch radius instead and see if that bends out. That's the interesting one, isn't it? And then we should end because this is just dragging out now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Who's doing, you know, tone and a half bends up at here, yeah, I suppose. But Man, if you do, just move right, it up so two frets and bend it up there. Maybe, but, maybe maybe we have proved something that actually seven well, try, and a quarter. Try that one and see if that bends out. Because if yeah, that bends true. out, then you know. Then it doesn't the, mean anything anyway. Then it means it? anything anyway. <laughs> Man alive. So that's nine that and a half. Then? So that one doesn't. That one Choke, doesn't. This one it, does. Yes, because it's set, it's set up nicely. This is what I'm trying to tell people. It's like a term, this is this. set up nicely. Well, is it though? Well, don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Feels Maybe not. Nice. Maybe there's a fret there that's a little bit <laughs> mimi or whatever. Oh, right. Anyway, what did we Thanks prove? for watching. Nothing. Yeah, Just I, 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 please comment, comment below. below. This is the only thing Jinx. I think that's going to make this video have any sense at all is if you guys comment something useful. Yeah. Like, did you hear a difference? Have you tried these yourself and you can feel a difference? Do you just visually think that, you know, one of them is better than the others? But yeah. hey, I'm as confused now as when I was 13 trying to decide whether to be a vegetarian or not. Oh, I was uh, trying to go from Velcro to shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everybody. Au revoir.